Today we will be showing you how to replace a controller board in an HP MSL 6480 tape library. This replacement will require downtime and should be scheduled with the system administrator. This replacement procedure is the same for the base module controller board as well as any expansion module controller boards. If you need to order a replacement base module controller board for your MSL 6480 from the Rocket Platform website, please use part number 723 573-001. Prior to performing this replacement procedure, it is always best practice to log in to the web GUI of the library, if possible, and save your configuration file. Even though the library configuration is saved on both the base module control card and the library control chassis, it is always a good idea to have a saved configuration file to restore from if needed. Once the configuration is saved, you can power off the library by pressing and holding the power button for approximately 5 seconds and then releasing it. You will be presented with a pop-up asking if you want to put the robot into the default parked position or into the shipping position. Select default parked position and wait for the library to shut down and power itself off. Now you can move to the rear of the library. Locate the module with the failed control card. Modules are always numbered from the bottom up starting with the number 1. For our example, we are using just a base module controller. First, unplug the power to that module. Then, unplug any module interconnect cables going to the control card if they are present. Also, unplug the Ethernet cable from the control card if also present. Then, undo the two blue thumb screws holding the controller card into the library. Once they are loosened, you can pull the controller card straight back and out of the library and set it to the side. Now you can install the replacement control card by lining it up with the guide rails in the control card bay and pushing it in firmly. Once it is fully seated, tighten down the two blue thumb screws and ensure that the card is secure in the library. Then proceed to reconnect the module interconnect cables and ethernet cable if they were present. Then you can reconnect the power cords to the module, move around to the front of the library, and hit the power button once to power the library on. The library will now initialize and should automatically restore the configuration from the chassis to the replacement control card. It is important to log into the web GUI of the library and verify that all settings are correct. Additionally, if your library had any licensed features, verify that the license information was retained and re-enable the features if necessary. If you find that settings were not carried over properly, you can either restore from your saved configuration file if you have one, or set the library settings manually. If you are having any issues with the controller board replacement, or your library is still having errors after replacing the controller board, please open a ticket through the Rocket Plus customer portal. Thanks for watching. This has been another video by the Top 10 USA video production team. We look forward to sharing more content with you going forward, so please check out our YouTube channel and please subscribe so that you get notified whenever we release a new piece of content.